to end the path I've walked so far. I won't give up on you! In order to keep my path connected! Neither of us has much power left. Yes. This is... the true end. Jump Force has given the most attention to its three biggest franchises, and the most popular of those three is of course Dragon Ball Z. Now when it comes to characters put into the game's roster, we have six on the main roster and two more on the way for DLC. From a business standpoint, you would think the developers would add the characters that would lead to the most money. When it comes to ranking for the most popular Z fighters, the top five are usually Goku, Vegeta, Gohan, Trunks, and Piccolo. From those top five, we have all but Gohan. Characters like Majin Buu and what looks like Krillin are going to be added to the roster as DLC, but Gohan is still left out. When the topic of adding Gohan to the game comes up, the same arguments are always used by Gohan haters. And I'm here to debunk them all. Now before I get into that, I just want to be specific on which version of Gohan I'm actually talking about. The most popular version is Teen Gohan, and that is who I will be talking about. I'll explain why that version makes more sense later. Now the most frequent argument for Gohan not being DLC is that he is too similar to Goku, and that his move list will be exactly the same. I don't know why this is the most popular argument, because it's actually the worst. Goku's move list in Jump Force includes the Spirit Bomb, the Kaioken with his meteor combination, and a counter move with Raging Strike. Then there's also the Kamehameha wave. Gohan cannot and never has used the Spirit Bomb. He can't use Kaioken either. When it comes to the move Raging Strike, it is literally just a counter with random attacks that any character could do. The only special move Gohan would actually use is the Kamehameha wave. However, there are actually 15 different versions of that move. So I don't see why Gohan's Kamehameha would have to be the same as Goku's. But the developers wouldn't even have to use that move for Gohan since it could be replaced with something else like Masenko. Even with that said, people would still argue that Gohan would just fight the same even with different specials. But as we can see with the roster, there are also other characters who fight similarly or have the same abilities as other characters. The best example is Deku and All Might. They literally have the same power of all for one, and yet the developers are able to make them fight different. Boruto is extremely similar to Naruto. He even fights with Shadow Clones, he has his Rasengan, and yet they still made him different. They can do the same for Gohan. And if you've played any Dragon Ball Z game that's ever been made, you would know that Gohan and Goku never fight the same. Another argument people use against Gohan is the creator character options. Every DLC character brings with them items for a creator character to have. We already have Ultimate Gohan's hair in the game, even though the hairline isn't correct, and we have Goku's clothes, so we basically have everything we would get from Ultimate Gohan. But since we're talking about Teen Gohan, there is more he could give us. Teen Gohan tends to wear either Goku's clothes or Piccolo's clothes, so we wouldn't be getting much of a difference, but Gohan also wears at times a red belt instead of blue like Piccolo, and we could get that here. Not that exciting items, I know, but we are going to get Krillin, and he wears the exact same gi as Goku, which we already have, although at times he doesn't wear an undershirt, and that's not a big difference at all. We also have Krillin's forehead circles, and we can already make our character bald, so we would be getting the same amount of items as we would from Krillin when it comes to that. But Teen Gohan actually offers even more because none of his hairstyles are in the game. We could have base form hair, Super Saiyan, and Super Saiyan 2 added to our characters. Now after saying that, there's really nothing you could say to deny Gohan in the game, but I'd just like to say one more thing. When it comes to adult Gohan, if you really want him, we could have the great Saiyan Man version, and that way we would have plenty of new clothes to choose from for our creator characters. Plus his awakening would be Super Saiyan, so we would have that version also. Let me know what you guys think, thanks for watching, my name's Konjic, and I'll talk to you in the next video.